I'm hearing that quite close to me. It all started when Harry Warner came to this garbage bin to look for bottles. But this time, he found something with much more significance. I saw a bag in here. So I just seen a feather sticking out of it, and I grabbed the bag. And, and what Warner found was this headdress. But who did it belong to? He says he brought it back home to his roommate, and they decided to post on Facebook to find the owner. So many people wanted to claim it, it was theirs. There was people that were telling me that it's theirs, and we told them if you can give us um, a description, uh, what it is, uh, what are all on it, uh, what was used to th thread with it. Uh, but a lot of them came up with nothing. They didn't have pictures. Ron Baker's niece in northern B.C. saw the post and called her family after she recognized that it had belonged to the late Kotlachaw, Chief Simon Baker of the Squamish Nation. He had given it to his son Ron, but Ron says it had been stolen about 15 years ago from the Aboriginal Friendship Center. When I was looking at the picture on Facebook and I'm looking across my living room, at my pictures, and I go, hey, that's my address. <laughs> After verifying Ron Baker as the rightful owner, a repatriation ceremony was organized to return it. Ron's sister, Faye Hull, says she's so happy the headdress is finally home. I really wish these feathers could talk about the journey where it's been in the last 15 years or so, because it's in perfect condition. Whoever looked, had it, respected it, and looked after it. Faye says this isn't the first time things have returned to the family. These carvings were found in an antique store that their dad had carved in the 1940s. And this basket is one of nine that was returned to them after meeting someone who had them at an art show in Santa Fe, New Mexico. What else is remarkable is that the dumpster where the headdress was found was only a half a block away from where Faye and Ron live. And as Faye puts the sacred headdress on her brother, Ron explains what it's like to be reunited with this precious gift from his late father. Every time you put a headdress on, it just gives you an overwhelming feeling. All, all the troubles go away. You're in your own world and you're showing your own power. Tina House, APTN National News, North Vancouver.